Torian with TYP and Mobile Minerals Training back here. Uh, following up our trigger point release, we are going to actually go into the first component of our side trigger point release, which can be right behind the calf and a little bit up into the extension of the IT band. Typically speaking, these muscles and connective tissues, particularly the bones, are not tracking properly or translating properly as we create movements because they get tight, restricted, or you have predisposed positions, particularly an external bias will cause this to get really bunched up. My feet turn out when I walk and I express movements. So, the IT band gets overloaded and that's when you end up with IT band issues. You can get shin splints, issues with dorsiflexion, you name it. So this is a great trigger point to kind of go after. Now this is gonna feel really uncomfortable. Okay, it's part of the process. Again, I got my Unity Lifestyle the grind roller. I'm gonna use the divots here and I'm going to attack set position here where I'm focusing on scraping that particular digit or that particular joint capsule, okay? And I want to flex the toe up. Again, I'm not working on the vertical smash because I am attacking more of a almost insertion point where ligaments, connective tissues, even bones sit. So we would go into this particular area, earning that release, and then if I'm doing pretty good, I can physically start moving that foot to help promote that release. Now this can feel rather uncomfortable especially if it's really tight and restricted, you're gonna feel shooting sensation. The feet may even kind of spasm out. It's kind of normal, okay? If you're just that tight and restricted, this is something that you'd obviously wanna free up space for. Follow it up with a great mobility drill. It can really introduce healthy dorsiflexion and take pressure off the joints that are just simply becoming too overloaded due to bad mobility. This is a great one to go after.